In Ukraine, when people hear that something in Russia has or, I don't know, caught fire, burned to the ground or gone f***ing boom, they like to mark the occasion with the loudest song that you can imagine. But when something like the first attack on Kerch Bridge that connects Russia to Crimea happened last year, the song making was spontaneous. <laughs> This is the song. All right. Earlier this week, Ukrainians, or was it? Shrek emoji. For the second time, attacked and seriously damaged the Kerch Bridge. So let's take a moment to remember Kerch. The Kerch Bridge, a young, cocky newcomer to the Crimean scene, now struck down tragically so early in life. It's once again great promise as an architectural eyesore, Kremlin penis extender and symbolic stick in the eye to the Ukrainians everywhere has been cut short by a cunning late attack which leaves it clinging to life. Mm -hmm. So farewell now, George Bridge. We'll call this four out of five. Next time we hope to go full fight out of five. President Vladimir Putin called the attack senseless and cruel. And in the direct response to Putin, the cattle called the pot by the phone to say, we can retire now, there's no need to use us again as a metaphor. Bye. <laughs> Following the attack, Putin elected not to extend the Black Sea grain export deal, which halts Ukraine's ability to export grain to the world. You know what I say? It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I tell you, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. That's right, it just doesn't matter. Why? Because Ukraine has plenty of food. What they're going to lose is money. But that's just in Ukraine. Putin's stance is likely to put your, your food prices through the roof. World food prices into disarray and increased starvation in some of the poorest parts of the world where people live on $2 a day and rely on cheap Ukrainian grain in order to survive. And as we all know, the ones who are at most risk from malnutrition are, of course, children, infants, or basically anyone under the age of five. Anyone that is younger than Putin's favorite bridge. In response to the bridge attack, Russia went with its usual Pavlovian response and attacked Odessa with drones and missiles to just destroy these grain supplies at their sources. They failed. And so again... <laughs> That's right, it just doesn't matter. Putin thought Ukraine would be overrun in a day. Well, it's been a year and a half, and recently he, he was almost taken over. Almost taken over by a guy who looks like Mr. Freezer's stunt double. Yeah, so do whatever you want, Putin, because it just doesn't matter. One final thought on this story, though. Just over a year ago, Dmitry Medvedev, aka that neighbor who assures you he'll look after your goldfish while you are away, but then he eats it, stated that any aggression in Crimea would bring the real judgment day to Ukraine. Yeah, well, he was right. After the recent Kerch Bridge bombing, 100% of Ukrainians judged. That is a very good idea, indeed. <laughs> Moving on. While Ukrainians are celebrating, Russian generals are dropping like bad guys in my favorite movie, John Wick. What is truly the worst job in the world? Well, some might think slaughterhouse workers or portable toilet cleaners or a writer for the political comedy show on a website called The Gaze. Come on, guys, that's not bad. But the truth is, that nothing compares to a job as Russian general. I mean, even kamikaze pilots and suicide bombers have better job security than these guys. We all know that thousands of Russian troops, actually hundreds of thousands of Russian troops, needfully died in Ukraine, but things aren't going so well for their generals, with snipers shooting them on the front lines while Putin throws them out of back windows of Kremlin. 
following the death of 15 Russian generals in Russo-Ukrainian war, plus those who have been fired or just went missing, just where do you think Vladimir Putin will look for new leaders? How do you think he's gonna cast the role that nobody wants? Well, Gerard Dupardieu is local these days, but much too busy avoiding paying his taxes. And Steven Seagal, who I loved watching in childhood, has sort of lost his, um, well, shall I say gravitas or mind? Yeah, perfect, that's it. He has lost his f***ing mind. Well, the answer is a lot simpler than you might think. I simply placed this ad on Craigslist. Look, wanted. Russian generals, see the world, no experience necessary, qualifications, self-starter or self-hater, good comm skill, must be able to pretend to work well with others, and of course, enjoys riding his T-54 tank. Also flexible regarding variety of war crimes and genocide is a plus. Well, benefits, casual Fridays, company events, competitive salaries, delicious canned meals and travel opportunities. And of course, finally, very frequent and unscheduled field promotions. And remember, we are an equal opportunity employer. All of our employees have an equal opportunity of A, disappearing, dying, or being thrown out of a third floor window. Apply now, best job in the world. But not all border conflicts are so fatal. And while Ukraine might have issues with some of its neighbors, they're not beyond a good joke every now and then.